Look at me. I'm a talented female artist. Get it? Because you can't see me. And we always seem to ignore them in art history. Hi guys, this is Shannon with Unique Arts. Welcome back. Today we're just going to talk really quickly on Elisabetta Serrani. So Serrani is a Baroque, Italian Baroque painter from Bologna. She's had a spike recently as you know people are trying to be more equitable I guess in their focus on talented painters especially in art history like painters from the past. So she's gotten a recent spike of attention but she's still like way less known compared to the likes of Artemisia Gentileschi. And Artemisia Gentileschi is obviously really talented, so she deserves the credit and deserves her attention. Serrani did some notable work as well, and I think she's really interesting. And so Serrani also did a Judith with the head of Holofernes, which I think it's not as good as Gentileschi's. It's kind of got this more dainty air, um, similar to Caravaggio's same painting. It's still really good. I like it a lot. She's obviously very freaking talented. Pardon my language. She also did other things like Portia, you're seeing stabbing her thigh. And so Portia was a ancient Roman woman, the wife of Brutus. But she was essentially left out of the conspiracy against Julius Caesar because she was seen as not being able to handle it because she was a woman. And so to show that she could handle it, she stabbed herself in the leg and didn't complain, you know, like to, did it with a straight face, as you see with the painting. As odd as that might be, I get the sentiment. There's that, and I mean, she focuses on these heroines, you know, as you see with Judith. She was a really common heroine to depict back in the Baroque era. Portia is not so common, but it's really interesting. It's more of a classical thing, not a biblical thing, but something that they were interested in back then. And then another painting, by Serrani that I think is really cool. And you definitely get that Baroque dark background in it is her painting of justice, charity, and prudence. She doesn't say it in order of where they are on the canvas. Justice, you can probably guess, is in the middle with the sword, you know, the sword of justice. And then charity is probably my favorite in the painting. She's on the left with the children all over her. She's breastfeeding and there's two other children climbing on her. I don't know if there's anything more charitable besides a mother, a mother's love. And if you're religious, I guess, you know, like Jesus. Prudence on the right. I don't really know what Prudence is supposed to be so much. Uh, she's holding a mirror for justice to like flex in and just like pose. But uh, she's supposed to be, you know, like, I guess about, you know, being prudent. <laughs> like cautious and such and she's leaning on a book but Serrani also did something as far as being ignored throughout history which is you know something she did really good at no but she painted another one that I want to look at that is something I feel like we don't see enough I mean we do see it to some degree but I mean one of the most often depicted things within art history is Jesus Christ first of all but then also especially Madonna and child so Mary and infant Christ and something you don't see that much but Serrani painted is a Saint Joseph with the infant Jesus and I think it's a lovely painting. I think that it's beautiful. It still kind of has that blank Baroque background and Jesus might look a little weird, you know? I think he often does to some degree, but it's nice to see that father relationship with Christ. And I mean, that's something that I understand the value of mothers, obviously. My own mother is fantastic and my wife is fantastic, but fathers are important too. And so, and I mean, I have two children and I love them to death. So it's nice to see St. Joseph with a child he obviously loved very much. And I think it can be applied to us, I mean, more modern days as well. Serrani actually, she was a Roman Catholic, and this is during the full swing of the Catholic Counter-Reformation. She also painted Christ's family, including his grandparents, Saint Anne and Saint Joaquin. I think that might be more of a Catholicism thing. To be honest, I'm not really acquainted with those names so much throughout history, but she painted a group portrait as well, you know, with the whole family, with Christ's child in the center. Really interesting stuff. I mean, she had family on her mind, which maybe they consider that a womanly thing, and maybe people don't like that today. But I think it's beautiful. Israni is definitely someone worth knowing in the Baroque era. I personally like her more than I like than Caravaggio. No offense, I understand how important Caravaggio is. But if you're focusing on Italian Baroque, I feel like Serrani and like Gentileschi are personally, I just think the best. <laughs> that doesn't mean the other ones are bad. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know. Or any comments, any corrections, if I said something stupid. But please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.